Hello, my name is Frank Lennon. This video is coming to you from Dublin in Ireland. It might be of particular interest to American people living in California who are of Irish origin. I have a great personal interest in photography and in history and in recent times have acquired two lovely coffee table books by way of birthday gifts. I would like to introduce you to those books now. The first one is entitled Vanishing Ireland. This is it. And it was produced by James Fennell and Turtle Bunbury. In each of the coffee table books there are a range of lovely portrait photographs and stories outlining the history of each of the people covered in the books and the people are simple Irish country folk. The first book was published in 2006, this one, and the second book which is again entitled Vanishing Ireland Further Chronicles of the Disappearing World, this one here was published in 2009 by the same two gentlemen. As I was reading through the first book and got to page 17, I was introduced to a gentleman by the name of Robbie McMahon, who is a singer and a farmer, and who lives in a place called Spansel Hill in Ennis County Clare. In the first paragraph of the little story of his life history, I was struck by a certain tinge of sadness and I just read the paragraph to you. When Robbie McMahon sings Spansel Hill, it all falls into place. There have been so many versions of this powerful ballad that it becomes easy to forget who was there first. Spansel Hill is a small crossroads on the road between Ennis and Tulla in East Clare. In 1870, a young man from the neighbourhood called Michael Considine took leave of his childhood sweetheart, Mary McNamara, and set off for America. It was his intention to earn sufficient money to enable Mary to join him in due course. Tragically, Michael fell mortally ill in California and died there in 1873. Before he passed away, he wrote an extraordinary poem dedicated to Mary, which he posted back to his six-year-old nephew, John, in Spansel Hill. That poem was later put to music and it's best appreciated through song. And I'll sing it for you now. Last night as I lay dreaming of pleasant days gone by, me mind being bent on travelling, to Ireland I did fly. I stepped aboard a vision and followed with my will till next I came to anchor at the cross at Spansel Hill. Delighted by the novelty, enchanted with the scene, where in my early boyhood, where often I had been, I thought I heard a murmur, and I think I hear it still. It's the little stream of water that flows down Spansel Hill. It being the 23rd of June, the day before the fair, where Ireland's sons and daughters in crowds assemble there. 
The young, the old, the brave and the bold, they came for sport and kill. There were jovial conversations at the cross near Spansel Hill. I went to see my neighbours, to hear what they might say. The old ones were all dead and gone, the others turning grey. I met with Taylor Quigley, he's as bold as ever still. Sure he used to make my bridges when I lived in Spansel Hill. I paid a flying visit to first and only love. She's white as any lily and gentle as a dove. She threw her arms around me, saying, Johnny, I love you still. She's Meg, the farmer's daughter and pride of Spansel Hill. I dreamt I stopped and kissed her as in days of yore. She said, Johnny, you're only joking as many a time before. The cock, he crew in the morning, he crew both loud and shrill. And I woke in California, many miles from Spansel Hill. I hope you enjoyed that, and I would like to invite any Californian with Irish ancestry to come along and to visit County Clare, to visit Spansel Hill, and to see if they can find those crossroads. Thank you.